Hey, 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 what is up, family? How we feeling? This YouTube video is going to be about Arnold's. My feeling emotions about what transpired at the Arnold's, both the Arnold International in Ohio and the Arnold UK. Yes, and what I'm going to do, what my thought process is moving forward the rest of this year in classic. First of all, Arnold International in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. I definitely went into this one wanting another Arnold classic title. The first one was in 2018 and I wanted another one. Very, 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 very bad. I think this look, guys, was one of my best classic looks actually. Yeah, I'm kind of comparing to 2018 Olympia last year's 2023 Olympia were two of my best looks. And I think this last Arnold Classic International in Columbus, Ohio was close to those looks, close to those looks. Now, I was downsized a little bit. Um, I was probably on stage at a 190. With the Olympia, I was on stage at maybe 194, five. Uh, so about a four or five pound difference which does make a difference, guys, and I'll get into all that too. Yeah, but I thought I was the sharpest, some of the sharpest that I've ever been from the back. My waist was the smallest. Shoot, like like when I had to come down to 180 pounds, well, all the, all the years, was my waist was the smallest it's ever been, comparable to, you know, the earlier years when my waist was super, super tiny, like, 2016, 17, 18, comparable to those years. And the reason being on why it, well, my waist was very tight this year, at guys, is because I really got a hold of my acid reflux digestion problem. That's my American bully butters in the background snoring, guys, if you if you hear her, all right? Don't pay her any mind. She's just getting her, her anabolic rest. So she'll probably come and say hi at some point in time throughout this video. So yeah, we were talking about the waist and because I got a hold of my digestion, acid reflux issues, which I know was because happening because of pre-workouts guys and, and powders, pre-workout powders, fat burning powders. I was having acid reflux and I couldn't put my whole finger on it. I didn't know all of exactly why, but that was it. That was it. So I took that out this prep and what a difference it made, you know, as far as training is concerned, not having to take Prilosec every day, having just no inflammation in there, a considerable amount of less information, inflammation. Uh, now it wasn't con entirely gone because I think a little espresso and a little caffeine coffee wakes it up a little bit, the acid reflux. But uh, overall, like, man, 75, 80% better, which I will take. I will definitely take. And we just keep on moving forward from there. So that was, I'm very happy about that. And that, that made a, a big difference throughout the prep and on stage with my waist. But it was a fourth place. Okay, it was a fourth place in Ohio, guys. And the feedback was that I was too small, that I was too small. Now, I think guys, you know, back in 2016, 17, 18, 19, that look would have been the, the look to win against anybody, against anybody. But classic guys have ch has changed. Classic has changed over the years. The look from the big tall guys has changed with their weight. It has improved. The tall guys weren't at the top, you know, in those years after about 2000 and when did Ramon and Urs kind of hit the scene with four and five? 2021, 2021. Yeah, those guys hit the scene and the look started changing, guys, to favor a taller guy and to the taller guys really got a hold of their conditioning. The, the taller guys really started coming into their own with the look, okay, with an improved look all the way around, big legs, muscle density, lines, detail. Well, not all of that, I think, right? In my particular opinion, but we'll get into that too. So the look has changed. I think, like I said, I think my look at the Arnold International Columbus, Ohio would, would have been 
I would have won in previous years, but it, it being a smaller look, more detailed conditioned, a smaller waist and all that, the look wasn't good enough for the win. It was only good enough for fourth place. All right. So the feedback was to come in fuller, Brian, to be fuller. All right. Uh, now, remember, guys, you know, I'm losing muscle coming down to 187 still as the weight is still by the, with the weight increase last year. OK, so I'm losing muscle. So if I'm going to be that low in weight, I'm definitely going to be sacrificing muscle. That's just the name of the game and where my body's at and, you know, what I have to sacrifice to get down to the weight. So. Nevertheless, I think that I was able to hold on to a considerable amount still and and present a, a great look that I was satisfied with. OK, so we got guys that I'm up against right now in Wesley being number one and Ramon being number two and yours being number three that are more complete uh, as a taller guy. And, uh, and remember, guys, if you have a guy that's taller, that gets to weigh outweigh guys that are my height by like 30 not 30, but maybe even 40, 50 pounds. I'm not sure what yours weight is, or I'm not sure what Ramon's weight is, but I think it's around 30, 40 pounds to where they get to outweigh you, right? That's going to show up on a taller guy on stage. That's going to show up on a taller guy on stage that has some muscle. You know, the weight will show. The weight will show with with this particular dynamic now i i know we've heard for years that it's not all about the weight it's not all about the weight and all that but with a taller and shorter guy it can be about it can be about the weight for damn sure when when you have the parameters that you do now it can be evened out when you don't have parameters you know and i'm able to come in at maybe two 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 ten two twelve two fifteen 215 you know, which can be done. Uh, but when you have the parameters as them being pretty low, like I have to come down, like me, I have to come down to 187 pounds, then it could make a difference. It could make a difference if, say, the taller guys can be in the 230s, in the 240s even, okay? That's more than, that's around 50 pounds, right? 40s? 40s would be 50 pounds, almost 60, guys. So that puts it all in perspective, okay? And... I probably agree with the judges that if I'm 190 pounds on stage, then a taller guy at 230, 240, 245 is going to look considerably bigger than me. OK, he's going to look considerably bigger than me and is going to look like he has a lot bigger structure, a lot more muscle. And the eyes are going to be drawn to the taller guy. Right. The eyes are going to be drawn to the taller guy for sure. And you know, conditioning and all that and lines and separation and maybe a in density, that's probably going to be secondary. That's probably going to be secondary when the gap of pounds is so big. Get me? So that the result of that was a fourth place. The feedback was that I looked a little small next to yours, West, Wesley and Ramon. So the feedback was to come in fuller. Fast forward now to Arnold UK. Two weeks later, I came in fuller. At 194, five pounds, uh, almost 10 pounds more. And that was an improvement. That was improvement. And I think I sacrificed a little sharpness, guys, because I was only given weigh ins were on Thursday at 3 p.m. Okay. And game day was on Friday at like noon. So, guys, I was only given way less than 24 hours to fill up even shorter time than in Ohio. Okay. So we had to eat a lot, eat fast, digest fast and make it work really, really fast. As you guys know, that was good enough for second place. I feel that that look still was great. A great look for me and my preference. I would have given the nod to my look in Columbus, Ohio. Now, if I was up against guys, remember now, if I was up against maybe if Terrence was in the lineup or what are some of the other shorter top guys? My man Alex was in the lineup. What's my man's name that from also Germany that got fifth place two years ago? Mike Summerfield was in the lineup. Give me some other shorter guys. Um, some of the other guys, a guy from Brazil that's going to do Arnold South America this coming up. Just giving you some shorter guys. 
then the Arnold Ohio look might have worked, guys. Might have been the number one uh, look. Might have might have been good enough for gold. Okay, but it's it's who else is up there, and what else is going on? Okay, and the taller guys are up there with 40, 50 more pounds. So you have to be full. You have to be full. Like even the guys with so much muscle, like a Sean Clarita or a Keon in the 212, we all would have looked, guys, we all would have looked small up against somebody who's who outweighs us by, like I said, 30, 40, 50 pounds. It just is what it is when when the when when you have muscle up there. The, and the tall guys have muscle. So they're gonna it, it, they're gonna dwarf you. Okay? They're gonna dwarf you. So yeah, that's that's going over that. I hope we understand that and can really understand the details of it. And uh, we move past it. And so best believe the rest of this year as I compete, it's gonna be a fuller look. It's gonna be a fuller look in all the on all the all the looks that we bring. It's gonna be a fuller look and no matter what, no matter who I'm up against, actually, no matter who I'm up against, the the probably the better look is just to be fuller. It's just to be fuller. And, you know, you don't know who's doing the, sh from the shows, from show to show to show. You can't adjust your look according to, you know, your competition and who you're competing against. You just have to just go with your best look. And... My best look for sure, though, muscularity-wise, guys, and density-wise, muscularity and density-wise, maybe not muscularity and density, okay? Conditioning in my low back, I think, suffered a little bit in, in the UK, and even in my glutes, I think, suffered just a little bit in the UK. Uh, but muscularity-wise and density-wise, I was better in UK than in Ohio. And so, if I'm with a fuller look, even with a bigger or earth, yours came in bigger, guys, in the, in the UK that I noticed, that everybody noticed. I was still able to hold him off and get the win over him, but not a Wesley, because Wesley's even taller than, than yours and has a, even given more pounds than yours and Ramon. Wesley can probably be 250, guys. A high two, four, 240s into the 250s, as tall as he is. He's like 6'3". He's very, very tall. So that's that's where we're at. That's where we're at. So look out for the Black Swan here, guys, coming to a show near you. I'm going to do at least three shows other than the Olympia this year. And it's going to be a fuller look. All right. That's going to be the look. What else we got for you? Without a doubt, this will be my last classic year. Without a doubt, this will be my last classic year, 2024 1,000% checking to see what my dog is doing. 1,000%, no question about it, because it is finally time. It's finally time, even with the weight increase to 187 pounds last year, it is finally time, guys, to really see how much my muscle can expand, how much it can grow, how much it can develop through all this hard work, right? Ultimately, it is about muscle. It is about muscle, and we need it to grow, okay? Butters, come here and sit down. Sit down. Getting my dog, guys, telling her to just sit down for a second. Sit down. Sit. Sit. So, did I cover everything? Okay, let me go over this real fast. Yeah, I think this needs to be talked about. Okay, so, classic, in my opinion, and classic for others' opi others opinion, it might be a little different as I see it, okay? So... I see classic being just well-rounded, conditioning, muscularity, details, density, shape, structure, everything being taken into account, right? Not leaving anything out. But I think the criteria with the taller guys lends itself more to the shape, lends itself more to shape and structure. And all of the other stuff is kind of secondary. You know, density, conditioning, details, lines, even symmetry and balance and flow, okay? It's more, stru more so structure heavy with the, the taller classic athlete because as we can see, right? That your, your taller athlete has bigger structure as we can see that and understand that. And even if the, the, the shorter athlete has great symmetry, balance and flow, 
uh, still your eyes are going to be drawn to the bigger guy. So as far as what is being rewarded and judged out there, maybe a little bit different than how, how what I see and what I bring to the table, right? Because I don't bring as much structure and my shape is good, but you know, my lat to waist ratio isn't as dominant. Last lat to waist to quad ratio maybe isn't as dominant. I think it was great though. This, uh, like I said, at the Arnold Classic Ohio, but if you have just a big structure, that is going to be dominant. Those ratios are going to be, they're going to, they're going to stand out and you're going to, your eyes are going to be drawn to them. And once we understand the, the uh, evolution of classic physique at this juncture, then we understand, you know, how things go and how things run and how things flow. What I can assure you is this year is going to be very interesting, man. It's going to be very interesting the rest of this year. And especially now that you guys see where I'm coming from with how we've talked about this. But uh, nevertheless, let's rock out. Let's work as hard as we've ever worked. I still feel like I have so much left in the tank. Finish this, this classic year off with a bang. And then, yeah, we're going to the 212 next year. We're going to the 212 next year so we can really capitalize on all this hard work over the years and all of our muscle. And one last thing, in the 212 division, I feel like I only need maybe about three to five pounds of quality tissue to be right there at the top, at the top level at, uh, on, the Olympia, on the Olympia level and fight for number one spot. I think all I need is about three to five pounds of quality tissue and I'll be great to go. So, because think about this, if I'm on stage at 194, five, six pounds with classic, right? Then with three to five pounds of extra tissue, I'll be on stage at around maybe two, give, add 10 more pounds, right? So that'll be 204, 205, 206 when, after you fill up and that'll be plenty. And that's almost, that's almost at the cap, right? That's just around six, seven pounds away from the cap. So that puts it all in perspective. And that's the, those are the plans for the rest of this year and the thought process heading into next year. All right, love you guys. I appreciate the love. You guys know that wholeheartedly. Guys, hit that website so you can get coached by myself and Brandon Gertis. All right, we are the best and we will give you the best coaching. Brandon is the best. Brandon is the best, I will say. I, I'm good at what I do. But Brandon is, is the, the absolute best at what you would get from him and from our style is what I will say. OK, because I've been with him, guys, for almost 10 years now. And, you know, as these guys are flippity flopping with coaches, I could tell you that I wouldn't dare because I see the value. I see the value and I see what Brandon brings to the table. What else we have for the damn wind dot com there is all your coaching information. All right thoroughly and once again thank you guys for the love and support and let's let's have a hell of a year all right so that's it for this video i will see you guys on that next one out